All right, what's going on everybody? Dr. Chip here at Natural Health, Quincy. Uh, we're going to continue our health shops here. Uh, prepare for winter is the theme for November. And we're going to, again, still uh, give you as much information as we can and little bite-sized uh, videos here. So that again, it's not so much for you to watch, but then uh, at the same time, you wanna make sure that you're getting good uh, insight. So again, well, without further ado, we'll, we'll head into it. Uh, so again, there, we always like to say there's two ways of seeing things. Uh, now, with the everything going on in the world, we can see that the health paradigm or what we have going on in our country, in our nation, in the world, is just not really, uh, there's something lacking. There's something that's not quite there. Uh, so again, when we look at, there's two ways of seeing things. Uh, again, you could say that there's two ways of seeing sickness and health. One way is the the... Uh, viewing of it as a, uh, there's a bacteria, there's fungus, there's viruses, there's uh, things outside of us that are going to attack us, uh, or, or bodies or anything like that. So that's kind of more of that, that sickness that we want to attack the bug, we want to get rid of, we want to, you know, kill it, destroy it, all that. Uh, and so again, at times those can be effective measures, especially if you have severe cases. Uh, so again, there's not, it's not a bad thing, but the, at the same or the other flip, side of that coin is being able to really help our help our bodies to heal, help our bodies to be adaptable so that when there is, you know, different time frames, their cold season, change in the weather, we're still adapting really well to where our bodies are feeling good and functioning well. So it's kind of more of creating and maintaining and achieving health rather than preventing the sickness, the the disease, the bug, etc. Uh, so again, we go to the environmental disease here. Now, we uh, like to bring this up because uh, we always get kind of caught up on the, the big virus out there, the big cold out there, the big flu or the bacteria, all that. Uh, but when we really look at it scientifically here, we can see that there's millions, if not trillions of uh, viruses uh, around us all the time. Uh, and so really, we want to make sure that we're able to, again, keep our bodies healthy and whole to where we can defend ourselves from that. Uh, and so you can see here too, the human biome and the human microbiome, those are, diff those are terms to help us to see that we have different viruses on our skin, bacteria, all that. We have bacteria in our gut, in our digestive tract that actually helps things work properly. It helps actually break down foods, uh, different things like that to where it uh, is when, when everything is in balance, when everything is at bay, and that's what our immune system is really doing, is just helping to do that, to help keep things moderated, then everything functions well. But when some things get out of hand, when the virus is overgrowing or the bacteria is overgrowing, that's when we start having symptoms or signs or problems. And so again, uh, like, said, like we said there, the, the, the first side of that is the, the viruses, all that too, the bacteria, uh, the bugs. Uh, but when we're able to uh, strengthen our immune system, we're able to adapt and uh, stay healthy throughout the whole year. And so again, it, it comes to a, a, a matter of whether we want to always be thinking about or fearing or uh, worrying about the bug, the, the issue or the, the thing out there, or do we want to make sure that, we're, that we're, we are doing the right thing is necessary for our bodies to, to maintain good natural health. Uh, and so again, two main factors here too is our uh, nervous system and our immune system. You could kind of say that the nervous system is kind of more of our communication center, like our master control center, uh, but it's actually helping to direct and dictate what's all going on throughout our cells, our immune system, our digestive system, all that too. And so of course our immune system is like our defense system. It's able to uh, you would say clean up the bacteria, the viruses, or it's able to defend us in uh, times of need. Now, when the nervous system is almost, uh, when it's kind of overwhelmed or if it's uh, not working properly, it just means that it's in a, a mode that could be uh, either adaptive or maladaptive for us to be able to fight off those bugs. So take for instance, is that when our nervous system is more in our fight or flight mode, when it's more geared up to for immediate threat in our, our, our vicinity or our environment, it means that we're putting a lot of energy and attention outside of us. And that again, is going to help us to either run, flee, fight, or hide. 
uh, and that is part of that sympathetic mode. Now that's very important and that's very good when there actually is an immediate threat. But in today's society, those immediate threats aren't really there. It's more of the stresses that we have in our environment due to many other factors. Uh, and so the opposite side there, or the other side, is just more of being able to help our nervous system to regulate properly so that we're able to adapt properly and then be into more of this called parasympathetic or rest and digest system or mode. And this mode actually helps to encourage our immune system to have good energy to actually help build up to where we can, again, adapt and we can help the immune system to keep the bacteria, the fungus, the viruses, which are all kind of inside our bodies and on our bodies at bay. And when we keep them at bay, they actually help help ourselves to uh, do well throughout throughout our life. And so again, it's it comes down to more of a balance like that. Now, chiropractic, again, it's helping balancing the brain uh, to balance the body systems, which again, part of the body systems is the immune system. And then less interference leads to better communication. Now, of course, too, when our body or our brain and body are well connected, we're communicating properly, there's no interference. Again, then it's able to actually display good health. Uh, because when our nervous system is regulating things properly, when it's able to give the right signals to the body, then it's able to, again, do what it needs to, to uh, display health. Because our bodies have a very uh, unique, in, or not unique, but it has a, a very good intelligence with that, that it knows what to do. There's trillions of processes going on all the time. And when we're able to do that well, when we're able to balance things up, then it's actually able to do that properly in a good, healthy way. And so again, the stressors that we talk about too, is just the traumas, kind of like physical injuries here and there, toxins, it could be toxins in different areas, such as our water, food, all that stuff. Thoughts, again, that's kind of part of how we think, how we, our emotions, all that. When we're able to have a good, healthy nervous system, it's able to balance that out properly. And so really is that we're able to have good, healthy uh, responses to our environment. And then technology, again, this is just another one on there just to say that technology in itself is not bad, but it can be an influence that actually could be detrimental to how our bodies and our nervous systems operate properly. And then uh, just again, getting back to the greatest health attribute is our ability to adapt, our adaptability. And so when our, when our adaptability is very strong, it's very high, then uh, whatever is going on in our immediate environment, uh, whatever the stresses that could be here and there, our body is able to actually go stronger to where it can adapt to those stresses. So it's like, like a person going to a gym, they, they work out and they start at a certain weight because that stress load is what they, that body can handle at that time. But as they grow stronger and stronger, then their body is able to adapt and actually uh, lift that certain weight. So it's a similar to that process where like our bodies, our immune system, all that, uh, we're able to, again, build that adaptability up to where it's able to handle more and more stress. Because again, we're all gonna have stress here and there in our lives. It's just, again, how we're able to respond to it. Um, okay, so I think that is actually it for me. So um, without further ado, I'm gonna pass it over to Dr. Mark and he will finish the rest of this health shot. Thank you. Hello, good to see you all again. Um, this month again, yes, we're talking about prepare for winter. Uh, and this week, we're, the question is, uh, why do I get sick? Kind of the topic that I'll go over. And uh, my information is gonna be real similar to last week, uh, but I'll try to make a little different inferences there, a little bit different uh, knowledge base there. So uh, how about optimizing the system naturally? In the search for the cure for multiple disease, uh, we find ourselves running, singing, and eating for charities that are committed to throwing a dump truck full of money at scientists who then have the monumental task of creating a nuclear weapon that can single-handedly destroy the disease in question. This is what, uh, you know, again, Dr. Tripp is talking about fighting the bug. You know, we're always, you always got us thinking about the bug. The bug is the problem, uh, that kind of thing. And again, uh, he's talked about that the other side of the coin is the immune system. So uh, this is fine to work on the bugs, but there's a lot, basically a lot easier way than worrying about the bugs all the time. So meanwhile, the most powerful weapon uh, proven to actually eliminate the body of serious disease, 
the immune system, our own immune system that we're born with, that we have, it's there. All you gotta do is take care of it and strengthen it. Barely gets an honorable mention as it silently struggles to do its job while generally being treated poorly. And again, we're gonna see the things that, that we do to ourselves that treat that uh, immune system poorly. Uh, if we could only finally wake up and, dis and discover that the answer to removing all disease processes comes from properly feeding and stimulating the immune system. However, taking care of the immune system requires work and effort, often a major holdup in a society that wants everything delivered to them, delivered to them on a silver platter yesterday. So many people, uh, even when they come in here talking about what does the insurance pay? What does that do? All those kind of things. Well, it doesn't really matter uh, what, what anything outside influences are. We need to get what uh, happening to our bodies that what we need to help the immune system working and that's what we do with our nutrition work here is find out exactly what that body needs to help it to be well uh, again everybody has different influences the different stresses of you know even your genetics are part of it but not all of it for sure uh, what your whole family eats because many times a family will eat the same thing and they'll have the same uh, def mineral deficiencies, nutri nutrient deficiencies. Uh, so it's a lot to do with what's going on uh, in the environment as well as what's going on in, in our internal environment too. So uh, for those who want to, those who do want the only proven cure to any disease and to make the transition to a healthier state of being, consider the following recommendations to wake up your immune system and get you locked and loaded for whatever may come your way. Again, the body needs to handle the bugs, but it can do that very well. It's done it for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. You just have to treat it right. So eliminate uh, the immune system suppressors. The first step to proper immune function is to largely eliminate the worst offenders in its suppression, namely all forms of sugar. Now we're talking about mostly processed sugar, but even all forms of sugar are a problem uh, when it's too much. You're getting too much, even fruits. Uh, you're getting too much sugar sometimes, people don't need all that. Uh, processed foods, uh, gluten, corn and soy, hydrogenated fats, alcohol, factory farm animal products, uh, meat and dairy. Again, the meat and dairy are good sources of nutrition, but in the right form. Uh, the animal has to be raised right. The grains, the foods have to be raised on good soils, and that's what's not happening uh, now in our modern life. Uh, chemical additives, preservatives. So many chemicals and everything, uh, preservatives and all the food so the grocery stores can buy things and they stay on the shelf for a long time and don't go bad. Heavy metals uh, like mercury in your teeth, mercury amalgams in your teeth, almost everybody has those. Uh, so it's really important to get rid of them and get the mercury uh, out of the body, uh, kill it out, which we do a lot of that here at Natural Health. Medications, I mean, medications are important for life, uh, life saving, but they're not, they're not nutrition, they're not, they're not nutrients. They are forcing the body to work a certain way and they actually are detrimental to the body long term. EMFs, that's electromagnetic frequencies. Again, that's what the technology we're talking about. You know, you don't want, like for instance, you don't want to sleep at nighttime with your, your phone by your head. All that electromagnetic frequency energy is going into your brain tissue. That's why people have brain tumors from using cell phones all the time. So keep them away from the body when you can. Erratic sleep patterns, inactivity, stress. Sleep is so important because that's when the body repairs itself. We do a lot of work here at Natural Health, getting people to sleep well, sleep deep, sleep all night, those kind of things. Um, and of course, stress, we're coming into the, the holiday season here, which unfortunately people stress out more about it, I think, than actually enjoy it. Uh, so anyway, just be aware that's what's coming up <laughs> too, but as well as the cold. Um, so again, we talked about that, the stress, uh, the refined sugar, uh, with different medications and all that kind of stuff. Uh, things that are not good for the body. Um, and we're, we're all going to be under stress. Uh, we're all, all going to have that. And if, if we talk about this holiday season coming up, you know, we've got to have the pecan pie and the pumpkin pie and blah, blah, blah Cool Whip, all that junk. And it's just going to cause trouble. It's going to weaken the immune system. So then, you know, two weeks after, a week after uh, Thanksgiving, people are going to have colds and flu. Gee, how did that get there? Well, it's, it's uh, because of the things we got into. Um, you know, of course, the medications and things are, medication, just to remember, is not a nutrient. They are things that force the body to work. So, again, important for, uh, for uh, severe cases are for life-saving, but not long-term. Uh, so, uh, 
If any one of these offenders can severely suppress our, your immune system, if you engage in several, the compounding effects leaves this system unable to do its job effectively and make you a willing host to all kinds of viruses, bacteria, and disease process. Like Dr. Chip talked about, these bacteria and viruses are there all the time. So you're just letting your guard down when you, when you suppress the immune system. So a good example, this is something I used to use in demonstrations, which is if you drink a can of Coke and eat two Twinkies in the morning, you've ruined your immune system for the day. The body has to use all the nutrition it would use for the immune system to handle all that refined sugar and the chemicals and junk and those things. And so then the immune system is just suppressed. So then if somebody coughs on you, oh my gosh, you caught a cold. Well, the bugs are all around. It's just that your immune system uh, is so in such bad shape. Um, so incorporate the immune system builders. The second step to proper immune system uh, is to enlist powerful allies that help defend the system and respond to various offenders on a day-to-day -day basis. The, the powerful immune system supporters are a wide variety of clean, local, fresh vegetables and fruits, uh, not so much about fruits, but vegetables especially, um, and then notably garlic, onion, ginger, turmeric, peppers, cruciferous vegetables, dark leafy green, greens, lemons, and berries. So again, if you notice, lemons and berries are very low sugar. Uh, still a fruit, still a lot of good minerals and vitamins there, but very low sugar as compared to bananas and peaches and all those things that have lots of sugar in them. Um, and again, it's a natural sugar, but it's still a sugar the body has to work, work on. Fructose or fruit sugar is hard for the body to deliver to process, so it, it can wear the body down using other nutrients to, to process the, the sugars there. Um, so again, we're seeing a great, good example of that here. Uh, just all kind of good foods you can get a hold of. And what we find in natural health is a lot of people that are used to eating junk food and processed foods, their sweet tooth is so high that even like good foods like this don't taste well to them. I mean, uh, you know, like even broccoli, just awful and all that kind of stuff. So uh, if you, once you get rid of that processed food uh, and stop that for a while, get the sugars down, your sweet tooth changes and broccoli is sweet. Carrots are very sweet. All your peppers and things, very sweet. So uh, even asparagus tastes good. So that's what's ruined in our society uh, is all these processed foods and things that, that uh, we've gotten used to. Uh, so incorporate the immune system builders, vitamin C, vitamin D, zinc, probiotics, then helping you the intestinal flora, antibacterial agents, antiviral herbs, adaptogenic herbs. And these things are antibacterial, antiviral, but because they're helping the, the immune system to strengthen, not killing the bug, but helping the immune system to strengthen so it can handle whatever's going on there. Pure, clean water, not stuff from the tap that's got chlorine and fluorine and all kind of junk in it. Grounding, uh, helping with the uh, electromagnetic frequencies there. Moderate exercise, not, not marathon running, but moderate exercise. Proper sleep patterns and meditation, calming the body down, getting away from stress and things there. So, uh, you know, good old orange juice. So uh, this is a good example of something that is very good or can be a real problem, where if you squeeze fresh oranges, you get all the good minerals and vitamins in a state that the body can use as a food. If you buy the processed junk in the store in a carton that's been rehydrogenated over time, it's been pasteurized and condensed and all this and then rehydrogenated, uh, so sell it at the store, it's ruined. You're not getting what you think you're getting there. You're getting just basically sugar in orange juice unless you're fresh squeezing it. Then you're, then you're getting the good nutrients. So that's it's a, a kind of like this coin too. The other side of the coin is uh, that you can get good foods and, and use them correctly, or you can uh, work with processed manufactured foods that taste good, but you're not getting the nutrients in there. So uh, the quickest way to see the results of an improved immune system is to stop doing the things that suppress it. Then transition your lifestyle to include more of the immune system builders. This will supercharge your immune system and adequately prepare it for any threats it may encounter. And so that's general recommendations. What we do here at Natural Health is find the specific recommendations for that body. Whatever body we have in front of us, everybody's different. Uh, I mean, there are some similarities, but many people need different amounts of different things. And that's what we do at Natural Health is figure out what that is. And even like with the chiropractic side too, removing the barriers for the nervous system to work so it can coordinate all this uh, thing, all these uh, activities of the body, the immune system, digestive system, cardiovascular system, all the systems need to be in balance 
and be able to, you know, like Dr. Chip talked about, adapt to the stresses in the environment and whatever else is going on in there. So that's probably enough for tonight. I uh, hope you got some good information there. I mean, as we're coming into the, I always, always come as dread the holiday season because uh, people get all wound up into the holiday season. And of course, you know, a lot of people, the, 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 the bakers, the cooks, they like to do such a good job and, uh, you know, bake goods. And, and people think, well, they got to eat them. They, you know, grandma made them. They got to eat them. Well, again, that causes a lot kind of trouble. So by January, February, everybody is half sick. Uh, colds and flu, and even though if you had the vaccine, they don't. The vaccines don't work unless you have a working immune system. That's what they're meant to work on: is help the immune system to work. But if you don't have one that's working, it doesn't do much good. So then, by that time, people are going to be low in a lot of nutrients and vitamins, especially vitamin D, as they haven't had any sunshine uh, for that those two or three months. So a uh, whole other topic. So again, we have our, our information, uh, as you can see on Facebook, Instagram is live right now. We'll post this to brideon.com and YouTube eventually. Uh, we also have uh, free consultations at the office that you can call, ask, and, and we can uh, talk about things and what we do here. Uh, on our, our website, uh, uh, naturalhealthquincy.com, is a way of signing up for our, a weekly blog. Uh, we just send them out once a week. Uh, this is a busy week for us because we are having uh, a patient appreciation uh, open house this Friday uh, on Black Friday from 1 to 5. We decided to do that so people that are out shopping around can come in and just rest a minute and uh, talk about, you know, actually health and what's going on there. And then uh, Monday, we're having our first Cyber Monday, uh, which is a 20% bonus on any, on any monies people are spending uh, for whatever they want to buy here. So we have a lot of great products. We even have our own little store here with lots of good organic uh, foods and things there. And of course we have Center Process and Medi Herb Nutrition and some other lines too. So that should be, I think, enough for me tonight. Hope you can have a great evening. Hope everybody has a great uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, don't forget to not stress out about it <laughs> and try to enjoy your relatives and uh, just have a good time. And uh, don't stress out about Christmas either. That, that'll take care of itself. So everybody have a great evening. We'll see you next week. And we'll still be talking about preparing for winter. So some good information there. And uh, again, have a great week, great Thanksgiving. And we'll see you next week. Thanks.